Hey guys, welcome to day four. I hope you're having a blast, enjoying those pumpkin recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Make sure you're sharing your pictures, um, letting your friends know what you're up to, and getting support in the group. The more you participate in the group, the more fun you're gonna have, the more fun we'll all have, and the more accountable you'll be held to trying these healthier recipes and fitness exercises. So hope you're using the group to its most potential, and um, definitely go there for support and inspiration. Today, you are doing 30 second planks. Woohoo! Moving on up in the world. So, you're doing four 30 second planks, which brings your total planking time to two minutes today. So, don't forget to work hard. If you start to feel yourself losing your form, you know, if your shoulders start to sag, if your belly starts to sag, if you're feeling like you're not keeping that core tight, you know, drop down to those knees, do the modification or break up these planks into smaller increments less than 30 seconds if you do need to. But try to work yourself up to that total of two minutes. Um, today's bonus exercise is a side plank. So, woohoo, another plank. These ones you'll wanna hold for shorter to begin with since um, you know, you're working hard on the front planks and you might not have done a side plank before. They are more challenging because you're only on one arm and they can, be, they can be pretty tough. So I'm going to demonstrate, there's two different ways to do this, one from the hand and one from the forearm. So I'm gonna back up my yoga mat quite a bit more so that you can see my whole body for these. Yeah, move the camera down. Okay, that should be perfect. If you guys can't tell, that's my dog. He's super lazy. He hasn't tried to get in the video yet, so. Okay, so I usually do a side plank from a front plank. So usually I'll start in that plank position. My feet are together, and as I turn, this arm comes up. You can look toward the ceiling. My feet are stacked on top of each other or they're like staggered a little bit. One thing not to do, don't let your hip drop. You still wanna keep that nice straight alignment. You can also start the side plank here and then go up, but I find that a lot more difficult. So I usually go from the front plank and just turn right into the side plank. Again, you can also do this from your forearms. I don't usually do this one as much, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, here you go. And again, work on not letting that hip drop. And so you're a little bit lower to the ground on this one. For some, it might be easier. For some, it might be more difficult. I think it depends on your body and how you feel doing that. So, give that a try. I'm going to even it out on the other side. So, again... Plank position, shoulders strong, core tight, spine is in alignment. And then you just open up and turn. Now this elbow isn't locked out. It is straight, but I'm working these two muscles together. Now what I mean by that, I'm not hyper extending my arm. I'm using these muscles to hold my arm in straight position. A lot of people will lock out on their arms for planks and that can be dangerous for your elbow, it can be dangerous for the ligaments around the, your elbow. So just be sure you're actively holding the arm there and not just hanging out on your joint because that's not going to be good for your joint health. Okay, so that's your side plank. You want to give that a try, and again, you can try it from the hands or the forearms. Our stretch for today is a cat cow. So this stretch is great for your spine. It's for flexibility. It's for movement. It's for stretching the spine. Um, it's very simple, and it feels great. It's another yoga pose 
Um, you know, we did the child's pose day one. This is another yoga pose. Um, so I'll just show you. It's very simple. Okay. So you're going to be on hands and knees. Okay. So hand right under my shoulder, hip and knee. And what you're going to do is arch the back up, head goes down, relaxes. So this is the cat part, because you look like an angry Halloween cat. And then you go the opposite. So let the belly sink down, let the head look up. And usually you pair this with breathing. So a lot of people will breathe in. Oh no, sorry. Breathe in as you go into the cat. And breathe out as you go into cow. But do whichever breathing works best for you. So you might want to breathe out here and breathe in as you look up. Whatever works best for you, this should be relaxing. And I'm really pushing up between those shoulder blades too. So not just my low back is moving, but I'm pushing up through those shoulder blades, getting a nice stretch. And then kind of letting everything sink down, head looks up. And when I look down, I really let the head relax. You can even shake your head a little bit. Just feel like a rag doll. And then you look back up. So for repetitions for, for those, you could do, you know, 15 cat, 15 cow, so a total of 30 movements. You could set a timer and do this for one or two minutes. Um, you could just do it by breathing, slow, deep breaths. Whatever is most comfortable for you is what you should do. And it should just feel like a really great stretch for your whole spine. Um, you might feel more calm if you, do, if you do pair this with that deep breathing, you know, breathing in, breathing out with each movement. Um, so if you have any questions, hope you enjoy the, the cat-cow stretch. Hope you enjoy the side plank. Those are difficult. Take pictures. You know, you can set a timer on your phone, take a picture of yourself doing your plank. You could um, take a video on your laptop, like what I'm doing, and um, not only can you then share with our group what you're, what you're doing and how everything's looking, but you could also look at your form. So if you're not in front of a mirror, if you want to put up your phone or a laptop video, you can watch your form as you're doing your exercises and correct yourself if you notice that your hip is dipping during the side plank and that you need to use your obliques, these muscles right here, um, you might just be able to cue yourself more if you're actually looking at what you're doing. Sometimes when we're doing the actual exercise, it's hard to tell, like, am I doing this right? You know, take pictures, take videos, and it can be really helpful. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, tell us how you're liking the pumpkin recipes, which one's been your favorite so far. I'd like to know since we, it's day four. All right, you guys have a great day.